And hello everybody, it's Greg here from Games Drops and something else doing a let's play of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Why Assassin's Creed Brotherhood do you say? Well fuck you, that's why I like the game. I know it's a bit out of date and I, we already have Revelations and Assassin's Creed 3 to look forward to. But why don't we look back to the past retro gaming, you know, those whole 18 months ago when everybody was psyched about Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I'm gonna go back to that time and I'm gonna play this game show you a little nostalgia of that time and no I don't want to play with you play online I'm just gonna play the story uh, I'm gonna start a game I uh, know you can see I already started a game there but uh, that kind of fucked up on me so I'm just gonna start this new game and I'm gonna name my character Death Seal Altai Air Death Seal Altair there's Mendio out there. You don't know, fuck it. Um, yeah, so I don't think anyone, anyone ever expects to wake up one morning and find themselves uh, caught in the middle of a war to, between two secret organizations. I know I did. But here I am. On one side of the Templars, better known these days as Abstergo Industries. They're in the business of control. Politics, economics, technology. They won't stop until every single one of us serves them. Literally. Fighting against them are the Assassins, a group dedicated to safeguarding humanity's free will. I was born into the Brotherhood. A couple of weeks ago, the Templars found me. They took me prisoner, strapped me into a machine they built, and put me to work. It's called an Animus. And it's where I spent most of my time. Exploring the memories of my ancestors, discovering entire lives locked deep inside my DNA. First, I revisited the life of Altair ibn La'ahad, an assassin from the Crusades. The Templars wanted the location of something known as a Peace of Eden, an ancient artifact capable of bending people to their will. Once the Templars had what they were looking for, they decided my usefulness had come to an end. But Lucy saved me. Lucy. When things were at their worst, she revealed herself to be an assassin and helped me escape. I was hoping that would be the end of my misadventures. But we were just getting started. Back into another Animus I went. Now, I'm reliving the memories of Ezio Auditore da Firenze, my ancestor from the Renaissance, searching for a path forward. Through the bleeding effect, I'm becoming an assassin in more than just name. It will come in handy as the Templars prepare to enslave us all. They found us. They crashed our hideout and we're fleeing the scene looking for a place to hide. Only there isn't any and time is running short. My name is Desmond Miles, and this is my story. Alright, and we are back. And we're just going to go into this loading screen where we're going to go into a memory of the end of the game and then we will henceforth with our let's play so that's um do you know there's one thing i want to talk to you about uh, the thing about let's plays is they're only going to go on if oh, sorry that's the phone beer back fellas sorry about that uh fucking mothers you know interrupting do it at you do it no. yes yeah, so what i was going to go uh, i was going to talk to you about um what are your opinions on this let's play? If people want to see more videos, please uh, comment. Uh, subscribing is also a great way to show that you are interested in these let's plays. If you're not interested and you want to see another game played, I'm all for requests. I've been looking to do a let's play since, well, since the channel started. So if you have any requests whatsoever on any let's plays, I would love for you to just comment or even PM me. Uh, as you know, this is a community channel, so we can always get more people to do Let's Plays, and we can always get more people on them, and to do stuff that you want to see, and we only want to do stuff you want to see, because you're the viewers, and you make the demands. Without, sorry, without you, there would be no, oh, there would be no channel, there would be no channel, so I'll all you guys to... are the reason we are still here, so. Just looking at what appears to be, um... Our universe, not a un our galaxy, far, far away. What? Who is 
Desmond. I don't understand. Please, wait. I have so many questions. So now we know that Desmond plays a huge part in the Assassin's uh, line. And that him being brought in by Abstergo was no mere coincidence. So this game takes off straight after Assassin's Creed 2. Where we um, took off the lives of old Ezio, who is about four years now. He's about... No way. Well, Ezio is about 30 or 40 years old. So, um, yeah, he's quite old. So let's put it that way. Yeah, he's, he's quite old. It, said, it did say 14.99, didn't it? If it did, then he is quite old, because he's born in 1459, so he's 40 now. Looking quite well for 40, I must say. Uh, so yeah, the game takes off straight after Assassin's Creed 2, where we just talk to Minerva. Uh, just gonna run out here and set off this cutscene. Which will trigger the start of, you know, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Minecraft, find a Minecraft one in the second video you go on to, so Uncle, I prefer to do something that isn't in What can I say? You sent a quantity. single man against an entire arm. I was worried. Quick, climb up. We have to get uh, out of here. You're such a caring uncle. Nonetheless, we're just going to start off by, um, you know, oh, eagle vision. You need to find the good path, the way up. So, just let's run up this... So if you guys are interested in seeing some of our other content, just to let you know we do have a podcast up on a website called Podomatic if you are interested in that. It is um, fairly mediocre, but uh, I think it's a good podcast nonetheless. If you, you might enjoy it if you like the good old band. Um, would not believe the things I have seen, Mario. Then be sure to stay alive that I might hear of them. I expect opposition. And I expect the Borgia to mourn the loss of many lives tonight. So yeah, we have a um, Stair Mario at a Tories tab. He's a a condottiero, a condottiero, or I think that's his way. He's a noble of um, the not Tus Tuscan, is it? Yeah, Tuscan, Tus yeah Tuscany. So um, I'm not even bothered reading at all that shit. Uh, let's just skip to the start of the start of the the start of the end of Assassin's Creed Two and the start of the Brotherhood. I was here. Yep, yep, I was there. Right, right, right there. Right there. God will see you pay for your crimes. You have desecrated the sanctity of this holy place. You condemn what you do not understand. Sick man, bowels now, bitch. Fuck you up. I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm gonna fuck you up. Fuck off. No fuck please. I stood right here. Right here. I looked up. And I saw the painting, and I stood right here. Did Rodrigo manage to hurt you? Barely. My armor blunted his attack. We'll be seeing a lot of Rome in this game, yes? No. Good. Didn't want any fucking cars. Come on, old man, keep up. Be ready to fight. 
What are you doing? Saving you! <laughs> Not bad for an old man! Agree! You still have some skills! Yes! Bona questa! Excellent! So, uh, we're also looking forward to Assassin's Creed 3. I know I definitely am. I've followed the series since the game first came out. Uh, Assassin's I've won it. Like, I learned of Assassin's actually. Do you know what? Um, I was about, what was I? Well, um, 16 times, 17, all this. Uh, I was about maybe a little younger than 11, maybe, maybe 10. I was about 10, yeah. Uh, and. I'm sorry, man. Uh, I was about 10 at the time when I found out about Assassin's Creed. I remember my friend and me looking at a, an issue of Games Master. And it would show you a tactics on how to kill one of the certain bosses in a cool way. And I was like, this game looks amazing. And I found out it was only PS3. And I was like, oh, well, that's the best game I want to play. And then when I decided to bring it out, I was like, this is just. This, this, this is fucking awesome. So, um. Yeah, when I found out that they brought it out on the Xbox, I've been a fan of the series ever since. Uh, followed the whole story of Altair, Bin Halad, and uh, Ezio, Desmond, and the soon to be Connor. You know? So, Assassin's Creed is a series I would love to just go on forever. I'm also a huge fan of the backstory. I think the backstory is such a great ad. I know it's not that many people are, are actually interested in the backstory, but um, I just think that the whole story of Eden and the apple and it's everything is just amazing. Come on, Mario, where the fuck you at? So Ezio hasn't changed much since the uh, three games, and I, I don't know. We'll see what how Connor is different to that. They did say they're bringing out the new Anvil next engine, which should be interesting, fairly enough, because it does bring out a, apparently a whole. They scrapped the a whole gameplay of the way you work as Ezio. It's obviously you're a different person, and you're not going to just copycat the same moves. So, they said they'll have a lot more free-flowing action with the kills and all the... How everything this works. This decision is yours alone to make. Only do so quickly. Give it to me. You can do with it as you will later. Bene. Jump! Assassin's Creed Brotherhood everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video and we will get to the next Let's Play, episode 2, whenever you want it, whenever it will be, it will be straight coming at you soon, so hope you all enjoyed this, if you did, like it, subscribe, also like it and share, and we will be back to you with the second part of this Let's Play very soon, thank you all. And keep watching for more Assassin's Creed Brotherhood.